it's um, in my mind very important that the EU is in the forefront of the fight against tax avoidance. It is an issue which is on the top of our agendas in almost all of our countries and in the eye of the media and the uh, public as well. The uh, directive, as we hope to agree uh, uh, at the latest Monday night, sets out legally binding rules to enable member states to tackle a corporate tax avoidance, a profit shifting in a coordinated way. All of this, of course, building on the work done by the OECD BEPS recommendations. Then on the banking union, uh, but more work needs to be done. Uh, and we've outlined that work in what we call a roadmap, which was agreed today by uh, the member states, a roadmap which deals with further risk reduction, so re dealing with the risks that remain in our balance uh, sheets, the bank balance sheets, and at the same time enhancing the cooperation within the banking union also by sharing risks. The Commission will come with a further proposals on risk reduction before the end of the year on total loss absorbing capacity and on uh, capital uh, requirements regulation and capital requirements directive. On EDIS itself, we are not yet there and further work is necessary. So we look for, to work forward closely with the uh, upcoming Slovak Presidency and European Parliament on, the issue, uh, on this issue uh, for the months ahead. The Commission has a wide range of proposals to counter the global threat of terrorism from the European Agenda on Security presented in April last year to the proposal to limit the access to automatic weapons last week. Detecting and halting financing flows to terrorism is a part of this effort. The Commission will make a proposal on the revised anti-money laundering directive on 5th of July. We are committed to making progress on this file rapidly and look forward to working with the upcoming Slovak presidency.